Hey guys, this is going to be a video showing how to reset or unlock passwords on Windows 8. This also works on Windows 7 and it works on Windows XP 2. So, we'll start by uh, logging out and let's say I forget my password. I don't know if this works for uh, actual Microsoft accounts, but it does work for local accounts. So, let's say I forget and we're stuck. So I'm going to send you a link to this tool. I will send you a link to this web page. Uh, click on boot disk and then you just scroll down and find the download. Uh, this does have instructions on how to boot off of USB drives although this will not work with Windows RT, uh, the tablet version, so you have to be able to boot off external media for this to work. So. I'm going to grab the CD version, uh, or you can grab the USB version if you want and read the instructions. So, download the zip. And there will be an ISO file inside that zip, which I actually already have on here. So. If you have a real PC that you're having an issue with, you're going to want to burn this ISO to a disk and then boot off of that. In this case, it's virtual, so I just attach it and then boot off the CD drive. All right, it's going to come up with a window that looks like this. Uh, if it has two drives, and one of them is small and says boot, it's probably the other one. In this case I know it is, so as you see there's a small 350 megabyte one called, that's the boot drive, and then the huge one which is the actual system drive, so I'm going to choose two. And then it's going to ask you where the system files are, you can just take the default on that. Uh, take the default for password reset, and default edit user and passwords. Alright, and here it lists off the users. So you're going to choose your user. I have not tried it with Microsoft accounts yet, but I don't know, you can mess around with that if you want. All else fails, you can actually unlock the administrator account and log in that way. Uh, so I'm going to type in my account, Sean, and then choose a 1 to clear or blank the password and then exclamation point to quit, Q again to quit, and then type in Y. Yes, you do want to save the changes. Uh, no, you don't want to run it again and reboot. Once the system reboots, it should log you straight into the user account. There you go, straight logged in. Uh, it emptied the password, so you just click and it goes straight in. So, yep, this works on Windows 8, 7, XP. I have not tried Vista, but I assume it would work on that as well. And, well, thanks for watching.